Daddy, he pooped his pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the question of the day is Do you think Lizzo is beautiful? I mean, yeah. Lizzo is hot. I give her a cat of pen. Do you think Lizzo is beautiful? Yeah. Lizzo? Yeah. Do you think Lizzo is beautiful? 100%. She's gorgeous. Yeah, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Do you think Lizzo is beautiful? Yes, I think Lizzo is beautiful. Yeah, Lizzo, cute. That's cute. Okay, that's valid. That's valid. Okay, so we're here with Molly. Molly, has anyone ever told you that you look like Lizzo? What? You look like Lizzo. You have a guy. You huh? have a guy. What? I thought I thought it was a compliment. Women will only insult women when they're at the back. Like women are corny as fuck. Do like it yourself and hide the truth in your heart and it's crazy let's pray wait why because we always pray at home no but the guy here knows how to cook <laughs> you know what sets me off really bad give it so i'm a woman i'm allowed to be scared of a spider but a man that is even more scared of a no, spider and no. you're trying to make me go kill it we can't do this <laughs> we're not doing this i thought you were the man no why get a get a gun it? and shoot the spider exactly or the man just for God. not doing it either one so you were with a man that was afraid of spiders yeah they all run around claiming to be feminists but when it comes to video they assign the gender fast oh, isn't it funny how going on a first date it used to be an exciting thing like a girl would text her friend like i'm going out with christopher i'm really excited wish me luck and the friend would text back like that's so awesome i'm wishing the best for you text me let me know how it goes now it's more like a hostage situation isn't it because a girl will text her friend for sure but the tone's a little different it sounds a little more like hey i'm going out with this guy allegedly named christopher i have dropped to my location as well as his tinder profile pic on the off chance he does murder me please send that to the police so they can have an easy breezy investigation and he can be brought to justice now i should be home by 10 p.m if i am not and you don't hear from me please start the process but also wish me luck and let me tell you something the friend doesn't blink an eye her response go get it girl let me know how it goes why would this way mm -mm. no 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 how no 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 i refuse no no I interviewed a lot of men that were victims of divorce rape. And these are men that lost everything in divorce. Wives left, took the kids, took their money, lost their job, like just complete L. And I found out it was a common pattern that after the second child, a lot of these women stopped sleeping with their husbands and get the divorce. I found this consistent amongst Muslim background, Catholic background, Christian, United States. California. And I found out that the average marriage just, it's not a good experience for most men because they don't get anything out of it. Most men that have been married over a certain amount of time did not have happy marriages. And what I figured out is marriage seems to be going away for the middle class and be something for the upper class and that's it. Most men live on their wife's terms, not theirs. Even Christian women, I found that I, they would almost be worse quality. And I know, I know the Catholics and Christians hate me for this. But what I did conclude is that I do think that the only marriage that's left is the purest marriage that you could possibly have. The people that make it work, you know they're there because they love each other. Because there's nothing in this society that's keeping people together. I thought you said men shouldn't get married because there's no gain it. Is that for you being temporarily happy at first? But like, at the long run, it's mostly sad for most men who go into it and the statistic does not back a happy ending for any man, so like, it's, it's sad. Damn! Damn! <laughs> they in the boot truck. Hey, look at him, look at him, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here they get outside. Damn! They just got smacked. Ooh! They on the way. Look, they going to chase them. No, somebody. Oh, okay. They about to bang. They about to bang. We gotta go down. Guys, this is definition of when you play 
he gonna land like he gonna land the hard way. Like she crazy, cursing at her, telling her what you won't do. You won't clean your room. You won't do what you want to do. And you talk to your mother like that? Like you tough? Do you think you tough, little man? Talk to me like you talk to your mother. Talk to me. You think you tough, don't you? Boss up on me. Cuss me out. Tell me you ain't gonna do what I say do. I dare you. I dare you. You ain't gonna do it to me? Why you do it to her? Why you talk to her disrespectfully? Why? Little boy, answer me. Why do you talk to your mother disrespectfully? I don't know why I do it. You don't know why you do it. Today I'm gonna help you find out why. And today it ends. Today it ends. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You will not call your mother out of her name ever again. I believe children should be corrected. But well, some of those things can cause permanent trauma in his life, but like the Bible says pray the world and he's for the child, so a child should be corrected. It's a green flag and a guy. He loves God. Why do you want to date a man who loves God? Well, it's important to me, and I think if you have someone with the same values and same morals, you will be able to raise a family the same way and like have the same priorities in your life. And so that's how I was raised, and that's why I think it's important. Would you say he's more respectable and be a better person overall if he follows God? Well, in my experience, yes, my boyfriend does, and he is very respectable. He respects me, and I would like to think that that probably comes from his morals and probably his beliefs about how to treat other people. Oh my God! Wow! This is a sticks and stones case. Did you see the rocks? I can't see you. Wait. <laughs> Sensational. Children at a prestigious girls' school who staged a placard waving protest against a teacher who said, Good afternoon, girls. I'm with those girls in that school. They challenged the teacher. She lost the classroom. At, they wanted they wanted the teacher on, to at, address them in the They're a at a girls' way. school, Kevin. But one literally, of them wasn't identified. Literally, as the their parents have said, We want to send our little girl to a girls' school which is called a girls' school. Yeah, a and while. then when a teacher has the audacity yep. to call them girls, they go nuts. One of them wasn't identifying as a girl. What I, what I just don't see what the big problem is. I, could, I genuinely I could, do not see case, what the problem is. If you don't, uh, here's what the problem. If you don't identify as a girl, don't go to a bloody girls' school. If anyone doesn't identify as anything they like, then this insanity just goes everywhere. Guys, the man is a muffin. You can see you're in the school where Teachers have authority over you and you say, nah, don't call me a girl. Then get up from the girls' school. Like, this, this is literally trash.